Morning, first day of Ada being back to school. I say back to school, she's there for half day, but Nana's picking her up. However, it's the first day of getting to figure out the morning routine, I guess. <sighs> it's not the only routine I've got to get used to. Just pop you on here for a minute, I've just got back. I'm out of breath because I don't ever walk, do I? My headphones are in, is that going to be a problem now? I don't know what's going on. Soon find out. So I am going to try. Hopefully it's still picking up sound, I don't know. Hang on. I have decided to go with, hello bin man, lovely for you to come into the bins again this morning. Obviously I'm grateful they come. I decided, yes, I am going to work with Ayrton and give it my all. Tonight is the first day back at the gym for me. I'm terrified. I bought some pre-workout mainly for the fact that the beta alanine, whenever I drink it, it makes my skin tingle. And the only way for me to get rid of that is to go to the gym. So whether I'm feeling it or not, I'm just going to have a shot of pre-workout. That means I've got to go. Hopefully I'll get back into the swing of it. We're going to do some sales today. Of course, we've got a few going out this morning. And we're going to pick some winners for some competitions. I'm not too sure which one's which. Oh yeah, it's a frog today. I'm hungry. I haven't even got access to my food bit yet. He's still setting me up. He's giving me my exercises. The food thing's not quite there yet. So I'm just going to try and use my brain today. And like, just not be a knob about it. I'm not going Greg's or any of that kind of shit. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a nana. <laughs> and a protein shake. And stuff. Just not sausage rolls, pizzas and Red Bull. Once I get into the swing of it, I know all of it. Because I've been there before. Anyway, we've got a few sales going out today. I'm not even dressed, I've just walked through the door. Take this coat off. You take that off at least. Right, what has sold? See you in a minute. Actually, before we go through any sales, yesterday I won a Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I won a Nintendo Switch. Oh, Ricky! Ricky Reesdales, can you hear? My guy, what a fix. Ricky is a very good friend of mine. He's like a brother to me. He's the only person outside of blood that I would refer to as family and would treat like family. So I can see where everyone thought this was a fix, but you can't fix a whatnot giveaway. But anyway, the fix was more banter to be fair. But I had a little bit of credit on there. I lost some items that I wanted to buy. I got outbid. I wasn't fastest on the finger and it annoyed me. So I said, right, that's it. You watch. I'm going to buy one thing and win the Switch. And everyone was like, ha, ha, ha. So I bought one thing. Cost me only the postage, £3.39 because I had some credit on there. What did I buy? A Red Bull thing. So for the price of £3.39, I wanted a Nintendo Switch. It's already sold. It's getting passed on to somebody else straight away because I'm not going to use it. I was only going to retail it anyway, so we've got a nice little into behind the scenes deal. So I've sold it already, 100 quid, gone. Beautiful. I don't mind that at all. So if you haven't already, go and check out Top Clubber over on Whatnot. He is doing a Switch a week. He's giving away a Switch a week. I think it's a week. I hope it's not a month. I think it's a Switch. I think it is a Switch week. Or is it a Switch a month? I can't remember but he normally does 50 quid gift cards regardless and then a switch a week or a switch a month <laughs> no i think it's a week anyway go head over there whatnot use the link down below if you want to get signed up and then go ahead over and see top clubber there's some amazing bargains anyway i'm going to go through the instagram stuff first because i need to move some stuff along and the first thing going out to the lovely tanya is the elvis presley Light up house. You're not going to see the lights on much there, are you? Maybe you see it from the back. Oh, it's on cinema mode anyway. There you go. Look, look, look between the trees. You can see the pool lighting up. <laughs> I've still got my hat on. Oh, look, whatever. It's going to be a GoFlow today. GoFlow. GoPro. Need to sell the GoPro as well. Paid £10 from this from a car boot sale. It doesn't actually make noises. It just lights up. I've done a lot of research into it. Lots of like fragile little pieces on there. And I was like... I need to buy some cotton wool before I list it and all this kind of stuff. Which I'm still going to go and get some cotton wool, I think, from Sainsbury's. I'm looking at my local shop. Actually, Aldi might have some. No, what have I got? Lidl. Lidl's near me. Just to like put a layer of cotton wool over these bits, where the little dogs are and the trees and the chairs. Then I'll paper it and go with my normal wrapping. But Tanya has picked this up for £60, all in, free postage. Tanya, I really appreciate it. Don't appreciate the packet I'm going to have to do in a minute. But I do appreciate your business. I think she might do some reselling from her Instagram page. I'm just taking a look at it. There's a couple of little bits up there. 
So I'm going to put Tanya's Instagram page up. Tanya, appreciate you, mate. On its way to you. Thank you very much. I was always going to do it, weren't I? I think that's it for Instagram sales. I think. Yeah, it is. Vinted in a minute. Let me go and sort some stuff out. Well, I feel like I've just, I have just literally walked through the door. You watched me. Ignore the grubby screen, but I can't actually, um, I can't actually show you any vintage stuff because uh, we're having problems. It's not unshaking correctly. Oh, 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 let me refresh this. Cool, brilliant. I guess we'll take a look at eBay first. Well, we've managed to get into eBay-ish. So this one actually came with a note, but I don't have the note because it was sent on the offer. So as mentioned before, if you send me a note on the offer, sweet, lovely, love it. But try and copy and paste it as well. So when you pay for the order or send me a message with it, and I can remember what it says. I don't know what it says. I can't remember. But I paid £8 for this just the other day. Tested it, cleaned it and listed it yesterday and it sold yesterday. Andrew has picked this one up for £35. Unfortunately, mate, I can't remember what your note said. But I do remember you sent one. So you obviously watch the channel. I really appreciate you, Andrew. On its way to you soon. Cool little bit of kit this is. Hover your hand over and opens and closes it. There's a few scratches and a few marks, but it's an older piece of kit, isn't it? Great stuff. Do people still watch 3D anymore? I don't know. The Kenwood stereo is still up there. That has to go out today. No choices. Have to pack it. Sold this mega cheap, mainly because of the condition. £5.45 all in. I think I paid 50p. Stains all over the feet. But it's jacked Squidward. It's going to be me soon. Fucking camera level again. I am sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. That's what says. Sorry, guys. Hi, guys. So this mega, mega, mega cheap as well. This is a vintage Ludo board game by Rumbold Gallery. I think it's Rumbold Gallery. Yeah, Rumbold Gallery. Really cool. As you can see, that's like a piece of Perspex plastic bent over. And these are like metal magnetic, I think. Just a cool piece. £20 all in cheap and another cheap one someone's got one of these listed for over a hundred pound but they're not selling it so i took a massive offer on it i listed mine for like 50 i think this is a michelin 100 year anniversary cap sold it for 25 pounds it's only off to reading it's only going out the road i like it part of that 50 pound hat bundle oh and another one from the 50 pound hat bundle 12 pounds 34 one two three four Ah uh, yeah, I remember now. I was gonna say that's 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 one of my like special numbers. This one's gone to Adrian. You sent me a message along with this. I wasn't being rude, even though it might have seemed like it. I knew I had to wait until this video came out. I can't answer the question specifically that you asked me on eBay. You asked me about other selling sites and things like that. I can't give you that information on there. It goes against their terms and conditions, unfortunately. So I just couldn't reply to you. I massively appreciate your purchase. My vintage name is 2002 RL. Really appreciate you, brother. On its way to you very, very shortly. Massively appreciate you, Adrian. Remember, mate, I, I wasn't being rude. Not on purpose, anyway. I have legitimate reasons. I think this is the last thing, apart from a pair of sketches that needs to go from that Jim Jam Jammy Dodger bundle. £4.74, all in. Just flog it out. I'll probably make 20p on that. I've already made 100 quid, so a profit on that bundle anyway. And that's everything for eBay. Can we see if we can get into vintage yet? There we go, we're in. We're in! How many orders have I got? Let's have a look. Reload. Okay, quite a few. Let me go pick those. Okay, so I massively, massively lied to you. There wasn't loads. They're just still showing as red because I've got the bag from the weekend that I've picked and packed. Still in the car. I haven't dropped them off yet. So... I've only got three to do on Binted. £4.76. We've sold the Sergio Tacchini bag. Now, the reason why I've sold this so cheap is because it does have a few condition issues. I've mentioned it all in the link, listing description. But it's really, really nice. If this was minty, I don't think I'd be letting this go for anything less than a nice little nifty. But Bill has picked this up. I'm really sorry. I keep, I keep looking to the left, but I am gonna, I'm going to. i having a rearranged juggle around here soon. So the Sergio Tacchini bag. Yeah. Bill's picked this one up and he said, massive fan of the channel, been reselling with the wife for years. Check out my wardrobe if you ever get a chance. We literally finish work and throw your videos on. Massively appreciate that, guys. His vintage wardrobe is Bill the Gent, and I'm sure he's a massive, massive gent, and I'm going to assume your name is Bill. I'm so hungry. My tummy's rumbling. Bill, appreciate that, mate. On its way to you very shortly. Do you know what? I'm going to stay here with a laptop for a minute because I might as well get these both done, aren't I? Let's put that, let's get that label, shipping label. See me spinning? 
I'm not doing that. The chair is obviously off weighted somehow. This next one is going to Jess. I've had Jess on Instagram for a little while now. Put that down there for a minute. I wasn't going to lose it. Jesse Corn pre loved on Instagram. And you actually gave me your YouTube handle as well. Jesse Corn 81 on YouTube. Jess has been on Instagram for a very long time now. Gone through the mill a little bit recently. I'm not going to dive into it because it's not my business, really. But she had a tough time recently. And to make herself feel a little bit better for personal reasons, she has picked up Frank the Turtle. I don't think Frank specifically, but turtles have a bit of a meaning in her life. And I'm just glad to have been able to be the one that goes out there, puts the graft in to try and find these items that people can then purchase you know people think that when you're reselling you just got you know you're paying a pound or selling it for 10 pound you're just ripping people off no mate you didn't get up at five in the morning to go and find the items did you and then clean them and make them presentable and available for the anyway i'm getting off course jessica i massively appreciate her. it's going to be on its way to you soon frank the turtle sold for eight pounds and nine pence Really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please go check out Jess. She's on Instagram. I guess I could share the wardrobe. Do you use it? Yeah. Hey, crazy unicorn lady over on Vinted. Really appreciate it, mate. On its way to you shortly. Thank you. I hope it cheers her up a little bit. Bless her. Okay, it's being so slow. My God. And for £2.63, we have sold Starlink for the Xbox One. Xbox One. Moving stuff on. And I feel like I'm missing something, but I think that's it. I do think that's it. So I don't have Ada now until five o'clock. We're getting back into the normal days-ish. Normally, she'll be at school from nine. I pick her up at three. She's got to be at school, obviously a different school now, which is in walking distance, which means I can get my steps in, which means I had to pull out the Apple Watch that's been in the cupboard for the last six months because I've had no reason to use it. And now it's back out again in action. I now walk her to school in the morning. She's got to be there for quarter to nine. So I'll leave her at like 22. Get there, it's only five minutes away. Walk back. I'm in here for quarter to nine. Then I can work, 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 work. Until three o'clock-ish. Then I can just walk down there and come and get her. So my day's still going to be like nine till three like it was before. I'm now back to like six hour working days. Apart from Mondays where Nana's going to have her. So she'll be there till five. And there's another day Nana's picking her up as well. Just gives me a couple of extra hours in the evening. But I should be able to get everything I need to get done between nine and three. Do you know what I mean? I was putting a lot of pressure on myself recently. Being like, oh, you know, you're not, you're not working at nine hours. What are you supposed to do in nine hours? Six hours even. Did loads in nine hours. But now I'm incorporating the gym. And I can only go to the gym about seven o'clock. Is that for me? I'm waiting for some more Amazon parcels today. I'm about to buy a cage for the for the um, DJI and a few different pieces. Right, I'm going to get this packed up. Tanya, or Tanya, I'm not doing your one just yet. I am going to go to Lidl first and get some cotton wool. Just to pad that little bits out there. And then yours will be going out. Hello. Hiya. Oh, that delivery today already. Oh, was that Emma's? That's the yes. last one. Oh, I, thought, I thought that was for me then. Sorry. What the fuck has she bought? <laughs> Cheers, mate. What is that? What has she bought? I don't know what she's bought, but that's a lovely, lovely big size cardboard box. Well, I'm going to do some packing, drop that off. I've waffled enough now. And then we're going to go take a look around the charity shop. And then we're going to draw the winner for the frog. Or is the sticker? The frog. It's now 10 past something. Yep, 20 past nine. See you in a bit. So I'm just about to run out of labels on this mumbin. Remember, I went through the flat stack first and then onto the roll. And just about to move on to my second one. I don't know what everyone's problems are. I've not had one issue. I had one jam, not had one problem. I see a lot of people saying it jams up, it moves out of line and stuff. I've had nothing. I've gone through the whole flat stack. I've gone through a whole roll stack. About to go through a fresh one. No issues, no drama. The link for one is in the description down below. Not a paid ad. They're just a great little investment. There we go. Had to take the watch off so I can charge it. But it's now 10 past, or well, three minutes past 10. Parcels are all in, ready to go. Yesterday's bag, today's bag, and the stereo, which I was really putting off and having like a bit of a niggle about it. It was bothering me having to think about doing it didn't tell long at all we overthink things don't we sometimes so i'm gonna go drop them parcels off go to lidl try and find some cotton wool for tanya's oh graceland and then i'm all caught up on postage sweet so i should be done by 11 o'clock today and then i can come home and just photograph 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 that's my job today I want to get all of this photograph that I've had hanging up for the last two weeks. I've got a few more arms of clothing over there I need to get listed onto Vinted. And just go, oh shit. I pre-packed it, didn't cardboard it. Matey's 
DVD player. Oh, I'll do that in a minute. It's not desperate. Basically, I need to get lots of photographs done today. But we're going to drop them off, go to the charity shop first, then come back, and we can do the giveaway. I can't begin to express to you how important that new drop and go service is to me, even though it's not really officially drop and go. I go there, I've had, so you saw more Ikea bags. I went in there, I said, I've got all these for you. Do you have a raw mail bag? They gave me the raw mail bag, came into the car, filled up the raw mail bag, dropped it back in and she went, thank you. So she'll just scan them throughout the day. Quarter past 10. I'm gonna go check out the chasers, mate. This fitness plan thing's even got me doing weird shit like this. I need to get my steps in so I've parked right at the other end of the car park. One of them empty spaces. Just like a fucking walk. Came in here for one thing and found myself obviously scouring everything in the middle of Lidl. Come on then, you beauty. Just give us a hundred quid in profit and we'll be happy today. Don't need a lot, just a one -er. Good morning, petals. Oh, it's tempting. Whoops. Sorry, mate. Sorry. I'm oh, sorry. I'm gonna take a chance. I'm buying them anyway. Good morning. How are you? Oh, you're back. You won't remember me, but I remember you. Are you right? Yes. No chance. No chance. <laughs> Don't even try and pretend. How come, you, how come you're back here? Well, we Why not? Just popped in the back and grabbed another couple extra, but I've just seen that. That's weird, isn't it? International Surfing Day, World Surfing League, Vans 2013. I don't know if it's homemade or what. Let me Google it. My first time finding some Sebagos. Do they sell in that kind of condition still, do you think? Like six quid? Are they, are they too battered? Too beat? I don't know. Hmm. Are they too decked? Still probably listing for 12 and double up, couldn't I? Is that another pair there? I'm gonna leave them. Better condition I'd have gone for it. Just they look a bit too trashed. Right, relax guys, relax, relax. Of course I did pick up the Sebagos. I think that's how you say it. I've never found a pair before, so I wanted to pick them up regardless. For six pound, I'll take the chance on them. They sell for about 29.99 pre-owned in good condition. My thought process is, all of that came to £18. My thought process is, if I can get 22 quid or something for these, that'll pay for everything. Do you know what I mean? And amongst all of that, now I'll pick this up because I've never seen one of this one this small before. Little builder bear, but it's tiny. 75p, took a chance on it. I'm guessing 8 or 10 quid, maybe 8 quid, 7 quid, that kind of subpar tenor category. Squeedle, squeedle, squeedle. Sorry. No, I'm not sorry. £1.25 on that. 10 to 12. Took a chance on him. Batman is 80 years. 80 year Batman. Oh, I've got that stupid cinema mode on. If I do it there, I can zoom in on the edit now. Batman, 80 years. £3. I took a chance. It's got to be worth a tenner, surely. Or like eight quid on Vinted or something. I don't know. But we'll soon find out. He's got like a relaxed batman outfit like a fan a batman fan outfit just looked at his winky he hasn't got one he's got a tail though yeah three quid on that i don't know 10 12 quid same thing for groot i don't know he was two pounds but i know i'm gonna get like five quids for plushies on vintage regardless so i don't mind paying too good for them some of them you're gonna get home you're gonna be like whoa 20 odd quid some of them you're gonna get home and they're gonna be like oh 11.99 that's a guess if it is 11.99 that screenshot's gonna be bliss if not you look like a dickhead ricky and this one, no idea on value, haven't looked it up yet, but it's Harry Potter, it's £3, and it's a dragon. But I'm going to put a screenshot up for you, because I haven't had a chance to look anything up yet. Again, guesses, 15 quid. Obviously, I picked up the Sobagos. Shit. And this was out the back. £2. £2 for some wooden boys. Wood and... Wood and bois. Wood and bois holzen. Backgammon jacquette. Backgammon. Two quid. Bargain, isn't it? The reason why I picked it up is because backgammon sells really well, especially when it's cased like that. But that one's not only is it cased, it's boxed. It looks brand new. It looks like it's never been. You've still got the little Taiwan sticker on it. Yeah, look. 
Oh, they're magnetic. Magnetique. Smashing. Two pound on that one. It's by Cardinal, so it's got a brand name as well. That can be anywhere from 15 to 50. I doubt that one's 50. It's quite cheaply made by the look of it. But I reckon there's probably 15 quid in that without hesitation. So just popping into my local and picking up a couple of things here and there just adds to the store. Do you know what I mean? I'll do a big shop on the weekend when it's car boot season. So I'll go to as many car boots as I can. And outside of that, I'll do like a big round trip probably once a week, but in there every day. And if I'm round somewhere where there's a charity shop, I'll pop in there then as well. But I'm changing strategies throughout, throughout the non-car boot season, of course. So stay tuned for that one. Let's draw that bear, bear frog. <laughs> right. Dun, 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 dun. The other way. Right then. So it's this video here. Yeah? Right. Shush, mate. This video, copy and paste, straight into the Pick a Winner website. And the amount of comments, anything goes. And the amount of comments we have are 111. What a lovely number. And the winner for the Build a Bear Frog with Minion Voice Box okay. is Chazza Charlie. Let's go. Well done, mate. All my contacts are in the description down below. Email, Instagram, best way to get hold of me. Come on over and claim your prize, boy. Or girl, boy or girl, I'm so getting cancelled soon. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure making a video for you guys. The iPhone 16 is being launched today, well, being announced. And I'm, temp I'm just hoping the front camera doesn't have any major changes because that's the only thing that's going to tempt me to get it. I'm still on the 14 Pro at the moment. I don't get the latest tech unless I need it. So I'm hoping there's not too much of a tech jump. With all the leaks and rumours, I don't think there is, which means I can hold out for the 17, where that's where I believe there's going to be a big change in the phone. And it's worth upgrading. But because I do a lot of my videos like this, front-facing camera on the iPhone, it'd be nice to have like a weird HD kind of proper nice camera. That's my technical terms for you. As I said, as always, pleasure making a video for you guys. Well done, Chazza Charlie. I think that was the name. Next video, we're going to draw the winner for the sticker. Take care, see you on the next one. I think you're in there, Batman.